Right, good, good afternoon, good evening, and good morning for those who are still starting the day. The day is the 20th of April, 2022, and we're on the Israel Watch. And we're so pleased to be able to welcome Karen back uh, so that her praise and worship will be leading us today. Um, and um, I, I just want to just pray quickly into that, and then I will hand over to her and she will introduce her guest. Lord, we just say thank you. Thank you that you are such a faithful God. And Lord, that you are taking us on many journeys as we are part of this global watch. And I just pray, Lord, that we will learn so much and that we will be able to wait on you. And the, the scripture I love the most is waiting on you, Lord, so that we can rise up like eagles. And Lord, that we will be able to see from a, a vantage point that is um, not of this world, that it's, we'll actually be able to see what is needed. And Lord, I just say thank you. Thank you for this watch. And I pray, Lord, that you just bless everybody on the call in Jesus' mighty name, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Karen. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It's so wonderful to see everybody. Um, I feel like I've been away for a long time. And uh, really, the Lord, uh, thank you all for those that prayed for me. I did have COVID and um, wasn't too bad, but it really uh, uh, took me out. And um, but praise God, I, I feel like I just came through my own personal Red Sea, just in time to celebrate the Seder, I have a few people at my house and, and, um, but you know, it's a, it is such a significant time. I know I've been out of touch with, with uh, a lot with the watches right now, but um, so many things going on globally and overlapping and groups overlapping. And um, it's such a, it's a very significant time um, in Israel and, and in the world, of course. So, um, yeah, so I really, I, I, I hadn't sung in, uh, in quite a while, and um, I found myself just making melody to the Lord around the house the last few days. So <laughs> I realized it's the time of singing has come, and I just want to worship the Lord with you um, to enter into his presence. And then uh, we're going to, uh, we have Nicole uh, again with us today, Jen Sanchen, and I was so happy you could join us. Um, I'll, I'll introduce her a little bit more. Most of you know her, but we'll, we'll do another introduction. Hallelujah. Lord, we lift our eyes to you, O oh God. Hallelujah. 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 I will sing unto the Lord, for he has triumphed mightily. The horse and rider thrown into the sea. Hallelujah. Lord, you are the morning star, the bright and morning star rising in our hearts, oh God. Oh Lord, thank you, Lord, for raising us up, Lord, out of the ashes, oh God. Saraba Shaka to worship you, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will praise you with my life. Oh, <laughs> 
I will sing while I have my being. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you, O oh God, for the breath of life.
Lord, lead us today, O oh God. Lord, fill our hearts, O oh God, with your heart, O oh Lord. Lord, even as we stand in the gap for Israel today, Lord, as thousands have been gathered at the Western Wall, O oh God, Lord, reciting the ironic blessing, O oh God, and proclaiming Adonai Melech, Adonai Malach, Adonai Imloch, Lord, we ask you to reveal yourself, O oh God, in the midst of all the shakings and all of the, the tensions, Lord. Yeshua's name. Amen. Hallelujah. So we're really blessed to have Nicole with us today. And uh, most of you know that she's the, um, the senior editor of All Israel News, um, working with Joel Rosenberg. And um, she's really uh, very much uh, eyes and ears for us <laughs> living in Jerusalem as well. So Nicole, just uh, go ahead and share what give us some insights and things that we could pray about today. Okay, thanks. Um, thanks for having me. It's uh, always good to be with you. And thank you, Karen. It's like that just few minutes of worship, I feel like, you know, like that. It's, it's what I needed. Um, it's, it's a busy time. It's a tense time. And um, um, I just want to make sure, first of all, do you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah. Um, Okay, well. good, because I'm far from the router and... Um, no, it's very clear. <laughs> okay, good, good, okay. Um, well, I think um, just to, to back up and, you know, just give a little background to what's happening like today at this very minute, actually, like literally this is breaking news. Mm -hmm. But to back up from the breaking news is um, that um, there's a convergence of uh, three holidays all at the same time actually four if you want to divide the easters in two because the um evangelicals of the protestants and the catholics have a different date for easter than the orthodox and most of uh, the the christians in israel if they're indigenous christians they're or most most of them are orthodox so um, so, of course, we have Ramadan and it started a couple of weeks, two or three weeks ago. I, I can't even keep track, actually. Um, and then we have Passover, which um, started on Friday last week and will be uh, the last night is tomorrow and the last day is Friday. And then um, the the you know Easter for uh, most of you celebrating overseas, uh, Resurrection Sunday was this past Sunday, but the Orthodox Sunday, which is 
the big show is Saturday. And um, usually you can't even get into the old city. Um, you can't get near it. Sometimes you can't even get into it. And you definitely cannot get into the Holy Sepulchre or some of the churches over there on on Saturday. That's for you know some reason they have a, it's the big day. It's the Saptil Nur, Saturday of light, the Sabbath of light. And it's that's the, the main attraction for them. So, so now of course it's uh, one thing that, um, you know, aside from the religious aspect, it's also, of course, a crowd aspect, you know, crowd issue of um, so many people coming for the Jews. It's a pilgrimage feast. It's one of the feasts that the Jews come to Jerusalem uh, to worship. Um, it's also for the Muslims. It's Ramadan. They come to pray at Al-Aqsa Mosque, which is right, um, you know, the Temple Mount, Al-Aqsa Mosque, all together, the whole source of the issue. And a lot of the Christians also uh, want to pray in the old city at the churches. So um, you've got, a, you know, in addition to the religious convergence, it's a, you know, the crowd, it's a crowd control issue. So there's a, so Israel's got a lot to balance this year with everything going on at the same time. And um, so, so what's happened was um, that this, you know, there's always a little bit, there, there's always um, a I don't want to say traditionally, but usually um, there are heightened te tensions at Ramadan, no matter when Ramadan is. And Ramadan moves throughout the year because they only have 11 months on the Islamic calendar. So Ramadan doesn't come every year at this time. So it's like this year at this time, all the holidays are happening at the same time. So this is a, so keep that in mind. It's just a very like special year in that sense that everything's falling at the same time. Um, so Ramadan always brings a little bit of heightened tensions and, and violence, some years worse than others. Um, I recall that last year was much worse. Um, and that is significant for, you know, for what's happening today. So I'll, I'll talk about, um, what's happened so far this year is that, um, that the, um, Muslim worshipers have had, they, they have stored rocks in the mosque. And they're, they're, they throw them, whether at police or the Jewish wor worshipers, and then the police respond. And then the, the you know, police get accused or the, Israel gets accused of violating the status quo on the Temple Mount. And, and so it's a cascading effect of condemnation and heightened tensions. And it, it throws us into the vicious cycle of um, you know who came first, the police or the rock throwers? You know what happened first. Um, so far, I mean, you know, this is amazing that I have to say this. Okay, so no, there have been no deaths, and there have been a few arrests, and there have been like a you know dozens to hundreds of injuries, but there's been no deaths, and uh, you know, so so I look at what's happening very contained. I live in Jerusalem. I live on um, Bethlehem Road. I don't know if, and if you're familiar with it, but anyway, I am a straight shot, you know, five to 10 minutes, no traffic, five minutes to the old city. And I can tell you, I feel no tension, no nothing. I mean, we feel the tension of the holidays and kids being home and everything, you know, and the craziness of that, but we feel no tension related to, to what's happening. And on Friday, Friday night when it was um, Passover Eve, um, we actually went to the old city. Uh, we went, uh, um, uh, we went out to eat, and then we went to one of the churches. And um, Friday was the first day. Friday morning was the first reported violence that broke out. So um, some people were concerned about going, but I was like, ah, you know, it looks like it's over. Let's go. We went and I, you know, again, like walked around freely with no threat, no, no concern, no worry, went into uh, one of the churches, actually, because they were having Good Friday services at the same time, Passover, the, you know, the Seder was happening, so uh, were the Good Friday services, so I just thought that was, I mean, it blew my mind, you know, so I, I did, you know, I went around there and, and I felt fine, so I'm saying that to say that for some reason, the violence that has happened up till now, which I think has been rather contained and has not re resulted in fatalities, which, you know, we're coming off a wave of terror attacks for, of, over the last uh, three weeks in which 14 people were killed. So the fact that we're doing this with no, no fatalities makes me think, okay, oh, not so bad this year, but something 
has happened um, that has gotten a lot of countries angry. Uh, Jordan was the first um, to be upset um, uh, with, with Israel. Jordan is in charge of uh, the Hashemite kingdom is the, in, in control of the Temple Mount and the um, the all the Islamic sites uh, in Jerusalem. That's their they are the custodians. Um, so they were upset, uh, you know, police violated, um, the Israel is uh, being aggressive and all this. So um, they, they said that then Turkey piped in. And also now I would say in, in past years, I would say, well, that's expected. Turkey is, doesn't get along with Israel at all. However, um, in recent months, Turkey is doing everything it can to uh, repair ties with Israel. So that's another, um, you know, so, so um, you know, now Turkey, has said um, also uh, something negative, and they had, they had a, um, a conversation between the president, the Turkish president, the Israeli president last night, and then, and now, um, the United Arab Emirates um, summons the Israeli ambassador uh, in Abu Dhabi for, for a meeting, so when, when, you know, when that happens, it's like, you know, it's, it's a tantamount to a condemnation, and so this is really uh, testing Israel's new relationships and though their relationship with Jordan isn't new and the relationship with Turkey isn't new, it sure is with the UAE. Uh, Bahrain hasn't yet made a condemnation that I know of. Um, uh, Morocco has, and Morocco's in the Abraham Accords. Um, so, so it's really testing these new relationships that Israel has. And last year, um, as, you know, as I mentioned, I thought last year was way worse. And last year led to the 11-day the, uh, day war with Hamas in which 4,300 rockets were fired at Israel by Hamas and, um, and Israel responded, destroyed parts of Gaza and uh, several Palestinians were killed. Um, so, you know, th there was a big, that led to a war. Now this, I, I don't yet, it, it hadn't got, gotten to that point yet. And yet all these countries lined up to condemn Israel and the UN had a secret, you know, it wasn't a secret meeting, it was a closed meeting yesterday um, about the situation. Um, so, you know, for me sitting here um, five minutes from, from the spot, I, you know, I do find it a little um, odd that it would be so, um, you know, that, that it's risen to the point of, of condemnations and stuff like that. Um, so so that, that brings us to today. Um, so today, um, you know, with all the condemnations that came in yesterday, um, with continued um, threats that the Palestinians are going to, that they're going to continue, or the, the Muslims that are worshiping there, that they're going to continue to defend Al-Aqsa, you know, and, and however they're going to do that. And with um, now, um, Israel, the government of Israel has had decided, uh, well, actually, they didn't say, but it is reported everywhere that they decided that they're going to shut um, the Temple Mount to non-Muslims for the last uh, two weeks of Ramadan or the last 10 days, like from Friday for the last 10 uh, week or so, whatever's left, they're going to shut uh, shut it. Um, and, and so then the um, government, the right wingers in Israeli politics are upset with the government because they caved, you know, to the Palestinians. Um, however, it's because apparent that they do this every year no matter which government's in power that they close it for the last 10 days because the last 10 days of ramadan are draw the most um muslims to the temple mount and um and there's also like they have the night of power which they're up all night long at the temple mount and i mean walking around jerusalem like you feel like a presence of you know hundreds tens of thousands more people in the city so like, so they normally do close it for these events. Um, however, this is now being used as a political thing. So now the right wing um, faction, a very right wing, a very, let's say radical, um, um, you know, I, I don't know how to describe the Ben Kavir types, Karen, if you, I don't know, I, I can't think of a word at the moment, but they are planning a very provocative march through Jerusalem right now, Right now, they're going to be marching through the old city. Um, we're talking about like very religious Jews um, who are, you know, passionate about the land of Israel, the state of Israel, and and um, and very much against the um, you know Muslim access and that the Jews don't have access to the Temple Mount. Sorry, I'm competing now with Veggie Tales. 
Daniel, can you put that lower? Can you put that lower? <laughs> Thanks. Um, so, so that's about to happen, and um, and the police are, you know, saying that. Oh, first of all, um, the I just mentioned Itamar Ben Gavir, who's like the leading oh, right wing radical politician. That Prime Minister Bennett said he's not allowed to go to the march. Like his presence is inflammatory. I have to say, it really is. He's not allowed to go to the march. So, um, so Ben Gavir just said, as a, he's like, oh, I'll, I will get there. He's like, I will get to Damascus Gate no matter what. So, so, the, so this, this, it's called the March of Flags. They are actually planning to go through Damascus Gate. Damascus Gate is, is Muslim. It is all Muslims. You know, it is not Jaffa Gate in the Christian quarter. It's not Zion Gate in the Armenian quarter. And they're not going to the Jewish quarter. They are going through the Muslim quarter. I mean, this is a recipe for disaster or for, for tensions, for fighting. So, um, so anyway, so this is, this is what we're, we're watching right now. And it's literally, you know, going to happen like when the, within the next hour or so they're going to start the march and the police are going to have to somehow maintain calm. Um, you know, I, I don't always like to report on all the threats because you know, every they always threaten. Everybody makes um, uh, like, for instance, Hamas said, "If you um, provoke us, we've got our eye on Jerusalem. If you violate Al-Aqsa, we'll shoot some more rockets." I mean, I, I, you know, some of it's talk, some of it's you know. I, I I don't like to give voice to every threat, but coming from both the the radical right wing or the you know, Hamas, um, but this is a little bit. So what what could happen? is um, absolutely nothing. And the police successfully managed to pull off like a crowd control and everybody just does their march and everybody feels good about themselves. And everybody's you know, on the one side, everybody's upset that they marched through on the other side, okay, we did it, we're done and nothing happened. But on the other hand, on the other extreme, this could lead us into another um, war um, where Hamas says, no, no, we must defend. And this is exactly what happened last year, which led us to the 11 day uh, war was we must defend Al-Aqsa. And so we're going to shoot a rocket at Jerusalem. And that's what kicked it off last year in May was they shot a rocket at Jerusalem and then thus started the 11 days and 4,000 rockets. Um, so that's from one extreme to the, to the other of what the possibilities are. So, I mean, I, I know, you, you know, you guys will, you'll, you'll take that and, and pray. Like, I know, like, that's something to obviously pray about is, um, and, and then something else that, um, as a total aside and kind of unrelated to, to this, because it was planned before, um, tomorrow, I'm, I'm going to be joining a delegation of um, evangelical uh, Christian business, business people and media that are going to uh, Bahrain and the United Arab Emirates. And um, so it's so interesting um, to be going at this time because, you know, like if it was a week ago, it would have been fine. And um, you know what's you know what's happening and uh, what's happening with the Abraham Accords, but now we're going um, during a time where um, the the these Muslim countries have to decide. Though they made peace with Israel, they still you know feel this uh, compulsion to defend Al Aqsa, you know, and and so um, so anyway, so it'll be interesting to now meet with with officials that we're going to be meeting with and and. Um, you know, or will they cancel the meetings or, you know, will I, I don't, you know, I don't know. So it, it really casts a little bit of uncertainty around this trip that was meant to be something else for a different time. Um, and we we're going during Ramadan as well. So, I mean, I didn't plan this, but I mean, Ramadan, it, you know, in, in two Muslim countries where, you know, there's they, they fast all um, you know, food and drink from sunrise to sunset. So it's going to be a very interesting time. So I would ask for your prayers for us um, on this trip, and just that, like, God really shows, you know, us, like, you know, to gives us His eyes to see and His perspective, um, and to see, you know, through um, the veil and you know what what He's doing. I'd like to see what God is doing there. Um,
first I want to see what God's doing here down the street. And, and then I'll say goodbye to the family and pray for them too. And then, um, and then I'll see what's happening over there, but I don't know if I'll be leaving and there's a war happening in my wake. So there's, you know, it's just, this is an open-ended conversation. I'm not giving you a conclusion because we're, we're awaiting the conclusion, but we can also pray into it. So I'll, I'll turn it back to uh, Karen and, you know, if you want to lead us or have, if you have any ideas or Hallelujah. What can you, can you just tell us a little bit more about what the goal of this trip that you're taking um, or any, any of the people involved or. Um, well, the, the, yeah, the trip is organized by Joel Rosenberg and he's, uh, he's the editor in chief and the founder of all Israel news and all Arab news where I, I work. And um, Joel wrote a, a book enemies and allies, um, which was just published uh, about a year ago. Um, and he, um, in, you know, really talked about like the 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 um, the seeds of the Abraham Accords and how they came about. So this um, trip is really just to like you know kind of a follow up on the Abraham Accords and connecting um, Christians, um, you know, business people and media with um, with these new uh, partners in peace. The the trip ends in Israel, so it, it's it's actually. I mean, for me, I don't think of. I forgot about that third part of the trip because I live here, but everybody will be coming back, and it ends in Israel with also meeting with Israeli officials. Um, so it's a really good exposure for a lot of these people to see like about um, what's happening, where the progress with the agreements and stuff like that. Of course, now it might take on a different tone. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we have a lot to pray about. <laughs> uh, Nicole, I know you may, you may need to leave, but um, uh, if you can stay on as long as you can, we'll, we'll be happy. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I think the most immediate thing is, is to pray into uh, this march that's about to happen, um, that the Lord will really um, hold back the, the spirits of violence. Um, yes. And, and it will not escalate. I mean, everything that is happening, even, even Putin got involved in, in condemning Israel. Um, uh, so, you know, it's, it's it, nothing that happens in Israel is disconnected from all the other uh, intense things that are going on, um, of course, in the Ukraine still. So hallelujah. Um, so let's, let's just begin to, let's just launch into some prayer. Um, uh, I, I guess I'll just start about the march and then um, others can just unmute as, as you feel you have a prayer. Um, Lord, I, I just thank you, oh God, Lord, that there's been so much prayer. I know some of us uh, uh, participated even just online with the, the global communion prayers that were taking place at Christ Church on Monday uh, that was such a coming together of Arab and Jewish um, leaders and believers uh, in the old city, uh, in, in, in Israel, well, in Christ Church, uh, to really declare um, through the blood of Jesus that the veil um, is, is being torn away. And so in the midst of all this, Lord, we, we know you are shaking the, the heavens, oh God, over Israel. And so, Lord, we do wanna stand, oh God. Uh, Lord, uh, we stand for the Prince of Peace today, Lord, that uh, you, will give, um, you will give intelligence, Lord, to the security forces. We pray, oh God, that, that uh, your spirit will hover over um, all that is, is going to be happening, Lord, especially at the, the Damascus Gate, Lord. We pray, oh God, that we just bind the spirits of violence in the name of Yeshua. Hallelujah. Lord, Lord, let your peace uh, rule in the midst today. Lord, rule in the midst of your enemies, oh God, as it says in, in Psalm 110. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you're working out your purposes. Hallelujah. 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 Just go ahead and unmute if you feel the Lord's giving you a prayer. And Father, just as in the global communion, we emphasize that your desire is the John 17 unity, Father, between 
Jew and Gentile, especially between Jew and Arab in the land. Lord, I pray. I just pray for miraculous encounters today, Lord. I pray for con for safety. I pray for wisdom upon those who desire to march. I pray wisdom upon the security. Father, I just pray for a miraculous hand of um, wisdom and protection, Lord. And Father, we, we ask for you just to continue to move among your people in unity. Bring about unity. It's just so... It's just so like the enemy for this to come after the global communion and our cry that we would be the one new man, Father, that you desire in your body. So, Lord, we just we ask for um, your hand, your mighty saving hand, Father, there in the city. And we ask, Lord, for there to be encounters of unity, that people see the even those among the marchers and even those among those in the Muslim quarter, Father, will see the um, the fu the futility, Father, in the continuing um, animosity, in the continuing violence. That Father, they'll just be dismayed by it. They'll be they'll just be disparaged by it. They'll they'll just say there's just got to be another way, Lord. And so we ask that you just begin to plant those seeds of unity, Lord. And 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 we ask for your hand to move mightily in this situation, Lord. And we will give you the praise. We give you the praise right now, Lord, for how you are going to answer this and how you are going to move in a mighty way during this hour. We praise you, Lord, in Yeshua's name. Amen. Amen. And I thank you, Lord Jesus, that in Psalm 149, you said that let the high praises of God be in our mouths and a two edged sword in our hands to execute vengeance on the nations and punishments on the peoples, to bind their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, to execute on them the written judgment. This honor have all his saints. And we do praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. And we speak this into the powers and principalities in the heavenly realms. We say, Father God, may your angelic forces go into this battle. This battle belongs to you. This battle for the shalom, the peace of Jerusalem. We pray for it. We declare it today. It's what you've asked us all to pray for, your divine shalom. And Father God, may these um, spirits of incitement to condemnation and reproach and hatred and anti-Semitism be bound at the source to the blood of Jesus Christ. And may it start to be seen clearly to the nations, all this um, false interventions from these other nations, including America, to come and manipulate Father, may the nation start to be awakened to see this injustice, to see that the Israeli police are simply doing what the police in any nation would do to defend the peace and to take care of the people. Mm -hmm. So, Father, we thank you for your truth. We thank you for your light to penetrate into this darkness. We thank you for binding every spirit of deception and propaganda and incitement to hatred in the name of Jesus Christ. And we thank you for the powers and principalities over Jerusalem at the moment that are being fed by all these demonic activities and altars of darkness and death and hell and the grave, that these would be uprooted, torn down, demolished. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, these religious powers of hatred and violence be bound at the source to the blood of Jesus Christ and your finished work of the cross. And we praise you for the release of your resurrection life through Christ that even raised you from death to life. We call forth revival. We call forth your redemption. We call forth the waters of salvation arising. And as our sister was speaking about uh, the floods and ripples of, of this evil, this marching and all this other um, sense of tension arising, that Lord Jesus, your rivers of living water, your Holy Spirit would flood through Jerusalem. 
you would come and hover over the chaos, Lord, and bring your order, your divine order, and your authority of peace and shalom that would destroy the authorities of chaos. I pray for this through the precious blood and the name of Yeshua. Amen. So in Psalm 2, the Lord says, yet I have set my king on my holy hill of Zion. And we declare, we agree with your heart that you have set your king already on your mm -hmm. holy hill in Zion. This belongs to you, this nation and this city of Jerusalem. It belongs to you regardless of what the kings of the earth say, regardless of the, the rulers that take counsel together, trying to bring destruction upon this nation. And we say, the Lord says, I have set my king on my holy hill. And so Lord release as, as, um, uh, as you have said, that your shalom, your shalom brings peace, brings wholeness over all chaos. Release your shalom over Israel, over Jerusalem, Lord. We trust you. We trust your leadership that regardless of what the circumstances look like, you have already said your king has been established on your holy hill, Zion. Jerusalem belongs to you. This nation of Israel belongs to you. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeah, I was thinking a very similar scripture to Elaine's that uh, it is written, the Lord said, I will set my feet upon the Mount of Olives. And he's not coming back to a Palestinian state. He's not coming back to an extremist Judaistic state. Lord, uh, I don't know how you're going to do it, but I want to pray about a specific clash of authorities, a clash of powers, because Bennett and the, uh, the Shin Bet have banned this extremist uh, right-wing man called Itamar Ben-Gavir from joining the march at Damascus Gate, and he, has refu he is refusing to obey that order, so that there is a clash of authorities here. And what else can we do except to cry out to the Lord to establish his authority? Lord, I cry out to you to establish your authority here, to somehow deflect Ben Gavir, that you would just pour your oil into the situation. There is no human political uh, way of dealing with this, Lord. So we cry out to you for your intervention here, that you will prevent clashes, you will prevent violence, you will prevent bloodshed at the time of this march and around this extraordinary confluence of religious festivals, really of religious powers, Lord. Assert your authority in this place, I pray, B'Shem Yeshua. Amen. And I would like to pray from Isaiah 59, 19b. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard against him. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we're standing on your word. And we believe you, because your word says that you are not a man that you should like. So, Father, we are waiting on you, and we are crying to you. As brothers and sisters, Lord, and asking you to that you will do this work, Lord God, that when the enemy, as they are saying that they are going to be doing, Lord, comes in like a flood in Damascus Gate, that it is you, your Holy Spirit, your spirit will lift up a standard against them. And there will be something like, um, I don't know what they call it, a, a firebreaker like a, 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 something will be done, a firebreaker. When a fire is coming in Africa, they dig, they dig um, uh, in, the, in the soil and the fire stopped right there. Father, um, this word came to me, firebreaker. Lord, you are the firebreaker. You will stop that fire of enticement, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are depending on you that there will be no violence, that the fire will stop right where they are in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Heavenly Father.
Lord God of Israel, we thank you, we praise you, we magnify you, Lord. You're the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. You're still on the throne, Lord. Father, you are on the throne and your authority is over all the earth. Father, all the religious spirits can rage. The spirit of uh, um, uh, rebellion can rage, but you are the spirit of peace. And Father, just now we have prayed and rejoiced over the resurrection of Yeshua HaMashiach, Lord God. You are a living God. And so, Father God, we commit this march into your hands and we bind the spirit of rebellion lord we bind the spirit of all these religious spirits that's raging but they forget that you are the king of kings and the lord of lords and the god over israel so father we release peace 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 over this land lord and we ask that the eyes would be open and the ears would be open and give strength to the army, Lord, or give strength to the soldiers and the police that they have to do what they have to do, Lord. Just let your angels, the army angels, Lord, surround this place, surround every area, Lord God. And we give you praise, 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 because you are still on the throne in a mighty, matchless name of Yeshua, we pray. Amen. Amen. Blair, you Thank you, you Lord, ahead. that no plan, no okay. weapon uh, formed against uh, your people will prosper. Thank you for cease and desist against every plan, every plot, Lord. They have to fall null and void to the ground now in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Blair, would you like to go ahead? I think you've been trying to unmute. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. And pray is, uh, um, as the writer of Hebrews in 12, 28, admonished and exhorted and reminded the people of faith. Therefore, since we have a kingdom which cannot be shaken, let us show gratitude, by which we may offer to God an acceptable servants with reverence, that's fear and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. Lord, may we who know you, may we who recognize that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, the creator of the universe, may we come, Lord, as peacemakers. May people of faith speak peace and life into this, to, even to those, even as Daniel spoke to the king. Lord, even as Joseph spoke to Pharaoh, Lord, that there be peacemakers. We need peacemakers, Lord, that are committed to peace, even at their own peril. Lord, that we speak life and that we honor you, for you are the authority. You look down and see the nation's rage and laugh. Amen. May we have that faith. May we speak the life that even the nations may see and fear for you are almighty God, that we may do your goodwill humbly to the praise of Yeshua Yamashia. Amen. 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 Yeah. And Yeshua, your throne remains forever. Your throne remains forever and you sit on the throne. You are the king of kings and you're ruling now and your kingdom is not from this earth. Earth is not from this world. And your kingdom is a kingdom of peace because you are the prince of peace. And I thank you that we can decree that we can stand in the throne room and decree shalom, shalom over Jerusalem and that you are going to bring peace in this situation, a peace um, nobody would expect, and which is supernatural. I thank you, Lord, that you stop the march, that you are given a sound mind or even a kind of confusion, um, kind of stopping everything on the way, that they won't go further to provoke and that they really stop by your angels, by your host of angels. 
and that we can testify of your glory, that we can testify of your intervention, that we can testify of your um, supernatural encounters and that people might see you uh, on the way and experience you, that they might have encounter with you. Lord, I ask for, for your Holy Spirit to um, for conviction and, con, um, and repentance on the way, that you hover over the whole situation and even that Muslims are going to acknowledge you and have encounters with you in this time because your kingdom is not from this world. We want to see a lot of people coming into the kingdom and to being saved and resurrected. We want to be in heaven with you with, with a lot of people. <laughs> and we, we call them into your father's home. We call them into your father's heart. In Yeshua's name, amen. Amen, 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 amen. I think some of you might have seen um, that uh, Shahar posted something in. Uh, uh, that this morning there were hundreds of young uh, Jewish, uh, religious Jewish people um, prostrate on, the, on, on their faces at the Temple Mount this morning, and they were crying out for Messiah to come. And so, Lord, we, we, this longing, Lord, they, they have a zeal without knowledge, O oh God, but we thank you, O oh God, that, that you will pour out a spirit of grace and supplication upon them, O oh God, Lord, uh, to be able to see the true Lamb of God. Lord, we've been celebrating uh, the Passover Lamb all week, O oh God, Lord. Uh, we ask for that spirit of wisdom and revelation to be poured out on the inhabitants of Jerusalem. Lord, even today, in Yeshua's name, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Shirley, did you have something? Uh, you mean me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was about to post it. I was just going to put it in the text. No, I saw you were stirring with something, so pick <laughs> it out. Yeah. Okay. This 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 has been said before, and and you can just weigh it. But I get a sense of a spiritual iron dome. I get a sense of a protective wall around Jerusalem. Instead of a wall of stone, God is saying He will be a a, a wall of fire. All around her, Zechariah 2.5 says this, the Amplified, For I, declares the Lord, will be a wall of fire around her, protecting her from enemies, and I will be the glory in her midst. So, Father God, we just thank you right now. Lord, we thank you that your, your word, that you're watching over your word to perform it. Father, we thank you that you... <laughs> we can trust you. We can look to you, Lord. We can call on you for help. And Father, I just thank you that Jerusalem, Israel is your nation and it is the nation you are wanting us to pray into and love and support. So Father, we just lock shields, Lord. We just stand together and we cry out to you, God, and we thank you that whatever plans, maneuvers, operations, attacks, that any strategy that the enemy has is thwarted and broken in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. I just thank you for the testimonies of things that were attempted and were aborted because they could not penetrate through the spiritual iron dome. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I just wanted to say that I that was also uh, when Margaret was talking about the um, the line in the sand, the firewall. That's exactly the scripture that came to me was that He will be a wall of fire and the glory in the midst. Amen. So, Lord, I thank you, O oh God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I, have a, um, I, I have a song I just feel to sing forth from Psalm 2, uh, but does anyone else have a prayer before we do that? Bev, did you have something? Um. Well, actually, uh, oh, as she Nicole. was... Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead, Bev. Oh, as she was praying, the Lord brought to me the very familiar passage in Isaiah 54, uh, 
that says no weapon formed against you will prosper and you will condemn every tongue that rises against you in judgment. And every time I hear all the nations come against Israel with their condemnation, this is the verse that I keep coming back to, um, that you will, this is the heritage of Adonai's servants and their vindication is from me. It is a declaration of Adonai. And that is that uh, you will condemn every tongue that rises against you in judgment. And so Father, I thank you so much that you are God of all gods and you have given us a wonderful heritage and that our vindication is from you. And so we condemn every false tongue of accusation against your people that the nations are raging right now. We thank you for this promise in your word. You are sitting on the throne and your vindication is upon your people. And we thank you and praise you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nicole, did you have something else? I, I think we want to pray for protection for you also. Was there something you wanted to say before? We thank you for your prayers. Um, I, well, I just wanted to say that, I, I mean, I just thought, <laughs> excuse me, um, <laughs> that, um, that I was thinking about, you know, that they said there's all these holidays. I just want to pray that the holiday that that celebrates um, Jesus rises to the mm -hmm. forefront um, during this time and that Jesus himself is high and lifted up. Yes. You know, everybody is talking about who to be worshipped, who should be worshipped. The Jews want to go up and worship the Muslim that you just muted yourself. I just want to lift him up. Sorry. I yeah, just want to lift him up. Yes. Um, lift up Jesus over this whole um, situation. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Yes. Be exalted, Lord. King of kings. King of Israel. Oh, God. King, king of every nation. Uh, Lord, as we started this, uh, let your name be known, oh God, and uh, high and lifted up, Lord. Thank you, oh God. Thank you for all the believers in Jerusalem, oh God, that are actually preparing a place a, to be a dwelling place for you, Lord. We ask that, that you would truly um, pour out your spirit, Lord, on the body in Jerusalem, Lord, that is coming together as one new man, and, um, and the oil of your presence will flow through the neighborhoods and the streets of Jerusalem. Lord, we pray divine protection on Nicole and Joel Rosenberg and this delegation, Lord, that you would uh, divinely protect them as they go into these other nations on this journey. Um, Lord, even as peacemakers, uh, those that are, are carrying your name, oh God, and uh, Lord, be a wall of fire around all that, that no weapon will form against them will prosper in Yeshua's name, amen. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, I, I would like to just end with um, this, this song the Lord gave me <laughs> uh, in one of our previous wars from uh, Psalm 46, and also it has Psalm 2 in it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Be still.
Joe, would you like to just close us off? Yeah. Yes. Oh, well, thank you. What a wonderful hour. It has been so, in a, it's like as if we're right there in Jerusalem with you all. And uh, having like up to date information has been such a blessing for us who pray so much for Israel. And um, I was just thinking of times and seasons are dictated by the Lord. And isn't it amazing that, uh, that this year uh, of all years, all these things converge at exactly the same time. That can only be our Lord God. And I just say thank you. Thank you for Karen and, and thank you also um, for Nicole and for everybody who has prayed on this call today. Lord, we just uh, watch what is happening and we watch hopefully from a point of view of, um, of, uh, of a heavenly perspective to be able to know what to pray into, that we are not reacting to the news that comes out, but we are actually creating the news by um, praying your prayers. So I just say thank you, Lord, for this time, this whole hour. And Lord, I pray that you will all be blessed um, during the rest of this day, whatever time it is in your part of the world. In Jesus' name, uh, Yeshua HaMashiach. Amen. 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 Well, let's do, we can all unmute and say shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. In the name of the Lord. Shalom, shalom. Shalom, shalom. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Oh, I've got to continue to pray for your strength here. God bless you. Okay, bye.